Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the uh, last problem of Litford by Contest 137, which is maximum value sum by placing 3 rooks 2. So the third problem is also similar, but the constants are lesser. So uh, I am not sure. I have uh, here you can see the constants on n and m are 500, and the in the third problem it is n and m are uh, 100. So I thought that the third problem could be solvable in order of n to the power 4. But this order of n to the power 4 approach of mine is giving me clearly. So after that I solved the problem in order of n cube and submitted uh, for both uh, the third one and the fourth one. So let's discuss the order of n, to, uh, n cube approach. But before that let's discuss the problem statement itself. So what is the problem statement? We are given a board of m cross n. Uh, and each cell of the board is given certain value. Uh, and we have to place three rooks in the board uh, such that the rooks do not attack each other. So, uh, if you know chess, you will know about this. Let's say there is a 3 cross 3 board. Uh, let, let us draw the uh, uh, first example given here. So, what is the first example given here? Uh, okay, the first example. Let's take the second example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9. So, we are taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9. Okay, now what does it mean? If we place a rook at any cell, let's say this cell, then it will block all the cell in this uh, row and in this column, right? So, we have to place the second and third rook in either of these four cells. So, let's say we have placed the second rook at this cell, then this row and this will get blocked. So, we have only one option to place the third rook, which will be at this position, okay? So, I hope you get it that when we are placing a rook at a certain position, all the uh, cells in the row, same row and the same columns are getting blocked. Okay, so the, uh, we have to place the rooks in such a way that uh, the sum of the cells where, where we are placing our rooks, three rooks, is maximum. So let's check what is the optimal way. Optimal way is to uh, place the rook at 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2. So nothing but this cell, this cell, and this cell. So the overall uh, answer will be 9 plus 5 plus 1, which will be 15. Okay, I hope you get it. So, uh, now, how we are going to solve this uh, uh, problem? So, for solving this problem, uh, I th uh, let, let me discuss about this order of n to the power 4 uh, approach to you first, uh, because it is more intuitive. So, what, uh, what am I doing is that uh, I am selecting one uh, cell, okay? So, I am selecting one cell for the topmost group, let's say. Then we have another, uh, let's say, n square minus, uh, let's say we have another nm minus n minus m cells left, okay, because we are blocking uh, the, the entire row and the entire column. So, we have this uh, this number of rows left. Now, from this rows, uh, from these cells, we, we have to place uh, two rows, okay. So, this could also be solvable in order of n to the power uh, 6, okay. Order of n to the power 6 approach is quite straightforward, we are uh, selecting a position for each root and we are checking that if the combination is possible. Let's say we are selecting R1, R2. Let's say we are selecting R, uh, sorry, we are selecting this combination R1, C1, R2, C2 and R3, C3, okay. So, this approach is quite straightforward and the um, time complexity is order of n to the power 6 which will definitely not acceptable. Now, how we can decrease the time complexity of order of n to the power 6 to order of n to the power 4? So, uh, this will be done by some mathematics principle, which will again help us to decrease the time complexity from order of n to the power 4 to order of n to the power 3. Which mathematics principle I am talking about? That is called uh, PGN hole principle. Okay, PGN hole principle. So, uh, how we are going to use this? Uh, I will discuss about this now. Okay, the general principle. So, how we are going to use this? Let's say we have found um, among this, um, so let's solve this problem for two rooks. Okay, let's solve this problem for two rooks. Let's say we have uh, n number of, let's say we have uh, k number of cells. Okay, k number of cells, and we have to place two rooks. Uh, so, we have to place two rooks in such a way that the sum is maximum with these two rooks. So, let's solve this problem for two rooks. Okay, now. Let's say we have taken the maximum and the second maximum cell. Okay, let's say maximum and second maximum cell. So let's let's call it maximum and let's call it second maximum. Let's say if they are not in the same row and uh, or same column, 
then we can take maximum plus second maximum as the answer, right? So we can take maximum plus second maximum as the answer, right? Now, after that, uh, we get it, right? Maximum uh, plus second maximum. But if they are in same row or if they are in same column, then we have to take another value. Okay, we have to take another value v. Okay, now we can say that uh, that this v should get paired with this m x or this uh, v should get paired with this second m x. Okay, there is no other option. Let's call it. Let's say another. We found another value u. U plus v is not possible. Uh, we we can only pair v with m x or we can uh, pair v with s m x. Okay, so that's why. Uh, what we will do? What will be the order of n to the power four approach? Order of n to the power four approach will be to uh, find the maximum and second maximum, which is which can be done in order of n square. Now, which we will again iterate over. Uh, we'll again iterate over all the uh, values, all the k values, and if we we'll check that if this v, this v is not present in uh, the row of maximum and not present in the column of maximum, that means that we can pair this v with maximum. And again, we will check if this v could be paired with second maximum, and if this v could be paired with uh, uh, if this v could be paired with second maximum. Then the answer candidate could be second max plus v. Okay, by that way, we are uh, solving this problem in order of n square. The two loops problem in order of n square. Now, we have to somehow solve this problem in order of n. Now, how we are going to do that? We will have to involve a uh, pigeonhole principle. So. Here, uh, pigeonhole principle. I thought about this when I think uh, when I am thinking about optimizing uh, how we can optimizing uh, optimize finding the maximum and second maximum. One way obviously to iterate over all the k pairs. One way is obviously to iterate over uh, all k pairs, uh, k positions, and check uh, what is the what is the maximum and the second maximum. That is definitely one case. Now let's say we have. Uh, all the cell values sorted in this order, right? Let's say we have something board of i j, okay, board of i j, i and j. Now let's say we have an array sorted in uh, descending order like with this board of i j comma i comma j. Now we can say that from the first n uh, plus m plus two values, from the first n plus m plus two values, we will find our maximum and second maximum. Why? Let's say we are selecting some row, uh, row i comma j, and we are saying that this this is blocked and this is blocked. Then, uh, what is the total number of cells that are getting blocked? So the total number of cells that are getting blocked is nothing but n plus m minus one. Yeah, right. So uh, n plus m minus one. So let's say n plus m minus one are the topmost uh, the uh, highest values, right? Then after that, n plus m n plus m value and the n plus m plus one value will be our Uh, maximum and the second maximum, right? This will be our max, and this will be our second max. Okay. So if we sort all the values in this order, board i j and i comma j, and we uh, check on the first n plus m plus, uh, not exactly n plus m plus two. We can say that n plus m plus one values. Then we can say that uh, we can find our m x and second maximum. So that is the first uh, thing that came to my mind. Then I thought about that we can use the same approach. Find v also. Okay, so how how we are saying that we can use the same approach to find v? Okay, so uh, for that, what we are saying that we are selecting uh, one uh, i comma j and another one, let's say m x i, m x i comma m x j. Now, what is the uh, total number of cells are getting blocked? The total number of cells are getting blocked from here. That will be n plus n minus one, and from here again it is n plus n minus one. Okay. So total number of cells blocked are nothing but two into n plus n minus one. So if we take uh, another one value, let's say let's say we if we take the n two into n plus n minus one plus first value, then we can definitely pair this with max. Okay, we can definitely pair this with max or second max. Okay, that's the that's the thing I have observed. So for finding b, we don't have to uh, iterate over all the k values. For 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 v, we don't have to iterate over all the k values. We can only iterate over two into n plus m uh, plus one values, and we will find our v. And we can pair it with uh, either max or second max. So let's jump into the code. We'll understand it better. From the total overall time complexity, let's discuss that first. So we are selecting i comma j pair. 
so for the time complexity for selecting this i comma j pair is nothing but order of n square now uh, order of n into m let's say order of n into n and after that again uh, for finding the two rooks problem we are doing order of n plus m approach so it is nothing but order of uh, n to m into n plus m okay i hope you get it let's jump onto the code so uh, here uh, I, I am i am building the position array which is, which is nothing but board ij comma i comma j and i am also sorting the uh, board um, sorting the uh, positions array positions vector in as the descending order okay now solve is nothing but solve the problem for two loops okay so how the solve for uh, uh, function is implemented so we are finding uh, n plus n plus two values you can check n plus n plus one also okay now uh, if uh, this is not in the same position as uh, r and c then we are taking max as position i1 position i2 position i0 and similarly second max okay and the and the for this uh, second uh, this this is for finding the maximum the second maximum and the next part is to find the v so when we are we can pair something with v we can obvious uh, sorry we can pair something with maximum then we can say that after that we uh, let's say we have find v which is getting paired with maximum let's say after that there is some u if we pair uh, u with maximum the, the result will be lesser okay so what i am saying that uh, v v plus maximum will definitely be greater than u plus maximum if uh, u um, if v is greater than u right similarly v plus maximum is definitely greater than uh, u plus second maximum there is no point in talk, uh, talking about that so uh, that's why if uh, we are pairing something with uh, maximum then we are breaking otherwise we are trying to pair it with second maximum i hope to get the explanation and the, i will provide the link of the code in the description box if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation or code you can always ask in the comment section if you find this video helpful please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you